Hi guys, my name is Roger, and I'm building a mid-engine supercar in the basement of my home. Let's take a look at what I've been working on this week. Well, finally, after uh, a couple of weeks of trying, I was able to finish the other half of the mold. I had uh, had some more CNC issues after last week's video that I'll discuss later with you, but uh, got those taken care of after a little more delay and finally finished the part. You can see them here sitting beside of each other. I need to remove the spacer pieces off the back and get these two halves glued together so I can start finishing this mold. It's going to take quite a bit of work uh, priming and block sanding and getting this mold ready. But finally we have the pieces and we can begin that process. And I just want to show you what they kind of look like. I know there's a reflection from the light, but... But let me get these uh, backing boards off spacers and get these glued together and maybe we can lay the uh, rear glass up here and make sure it looks like it's going to fit correctly around the perimeter and uh, then we can start finishing these. Okay so I have these two pieces of the mold glued together and I've laid the rear glass up here to kind of see how well it fits and unfortunately it doesn't fit as well as I had hoped. I uh, I didn't have this glass scanned. I measured it manually and I have done a bad job measuring it, I guess. Um, the uh, mold doesn't fit exactly as well as I'd hoped. The Back here in the back, it's a little narrow. You can see the mark of where it needs to be. So I can fill this in with Bondo and make this good. It is correct here around this edge and over around that edge also they look good but you can see where I've drawn a line here just to rotate that I need to remove some material it's a little too big in this area I think I can remove that remove that material there with a Dremel tool and a drum sander that should be pretty easy and then I'll build some kind of a dam here and make a line um, for the edge of this glass and then fill in that void area with Bondo and work it in. And then it'll just be a matter of blending that Bondo in back to these areas here, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, it'll take some work, but not impossible to do by any means. I think I can make that work. Okay, I laid this up here on the table where we can get a better look at it. I've lined it up to where I'm happy with the fit. I may have to remove just a tiny bit here that looks like it's a little wide. This looks good here. I've drawn a line here where I need to remove material. You may not be able to see it, but it's about 3 16ths to a quarter here. Um, it won't be quite as far as I have drawn because when this rotates down in the at the bottom down there, this will come forward just ever so slightly. But I'll blend all this in. This works well, well around this edge. I have... Uh, this works well up to this point and I have a line drawn here where it needs to come out to and it has a very slight curve so I'll probably make this side just a little bit large so I can sand that curve in it as I finish this and then blend this into this piece here all that will have to be blended nicely on both sides and I believe I can work that in and, and make this look nice it's just gonna be a little bit of work the contour when I set this down flush, the, the actual glass touches and sets in the pocket here really nice. It touches all the way around the perimeter, so I don't think there's any height issues. I think my only issue was the outside perimeter shape. The curvature looks correct. So, I guess the next thing I need to do is um, start uh, making some dams on the sides here and filling in with Bondo and then work this top end here with a Dremel tool to get this shape correct i want to do that before i start doing any any finishing uh, this half has a, a coat of glue brushed on it but not this half and i'll wait until the bondo soaks into the material before i brush this half with the glue and then i can start uh, working in with a high bill primer and everything after i have this shape around the perimeter of the glass fixed but let me get started working on some of that stuff and i'll check back with you guys here in a little bit Okay, I finished the fitting of the rear glass. I marked uh, the edge of the glass. I set the glass down exactly where it needed to go and I took a uh, ink pen and marked around the 
back side where I needed to remove some of that material. And I carefully cut it away with a razor knife and sanded it down and got it to fit correctly. <clears throat> and then I tacked uh, a piece of wood, a little thin piece of wood here as a dam in the correct place and filled that full of Bondo down through there and then sanded and worked that in, put my fillets back in. And I have this here to the right size for the glass. I think everything worked out and looked nice. Um, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what it'll look like until we make the part and lay the glass in it, but I believe it's going to fit close enough. I have started sanding here on this edge. I just sanded just for a, a minute or two <clears throat> just to bring this primer down smooth. And honestly, this won't be part of the hatch. This is just excess, so it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. The hatch will come and turn this radius and roll up, and that'll be the trim line there. That'll give it a nice round edge all the way around the perimeter of the part. Get here where you can see this a little better. You can see there's a little bit of roughness here, a little bit of wood grain here. Here's a little bit of mismatch. There's a lot of places that need a lot of work to get correct, but I've put a lot of primer on this and uh, hopefully it's enough to work down and get smooth. There'll probably be a couple of spots I'll have to put some putty and work that putty down. And then once everything is is wet sanded or final sanded, not wet sanded, but final sanded to where I think it is smooth enough, then we will come back and put one more coat of primer on it and then wet sand that last coat of primer. But a lot of rough spots to work down, but this is where we begin. And once this primer's on here, you can see all of these spots easily and know where you need to begin working. So let me get started working on some of this and uh, check back with you guys in a little bit when uh, things are looking a little bit nicer. So while you watch me wet sand this mold here, let's talk about a couple of things that's been going on. Um, I've had some more CNC issues. I know last week when I was closing out the video, I was showing you a video of the uh, second half of the mold doing a finishing pass, a cleanup pass. And just a couple of minutes after I stopped filming the video, the CNC started acting up again. And what happened was one side had failed and it caused the gantry to get out of square and up to where the other side would fail. And once I finally saw it do it uh, with my own eyes, I was there in front of it when it happened, I knew exactly what was happening. But what I have done is removed all of those connectors and all of those wiring from all four stepper motors and rewired it, straight wired it, bypassed the connectors and straight wired it to all four steppers. So hopefully that won't be an issue in the future and all four stepper motors will perform like they should and I won't have any more CNC issues. Now, something else that's been going on in my life, it's kind of slowed me down a little bit on the car the last few weeks, is after 26 and a half years on the same job working for the same company, I have decided to move on and take another job. So I've been going back and forth with a new company, uh, some interviews, I had to go to Chicago and uh, do an in-person interview and uh, several things back and forth with them on this new position, which has uh, prevented me from working on the car as much as normal. Uh, now, I'm not moving to Chicago. I'll be working remote from home. Because I'm switching jobs, I have to go to Chicago for one week for training and uh, just get, get familiar with their processes and all the HR things that go along with a new job. So I won't be working on the car next week. But hopefully when I am home next weekend, we will go ahead and make this rear hatch and have it finished. And if the part works out nice and we get a good part, that, uh, that'll be one more piece of the car finished and we can move on to the hood. But anyway, that kind of brings you up to speed on a couple things that's been going on in my life. Well, the part is uh, wet sanded at least down to 400. I need to go over it one more time with 600 and then fix a few little blemishes um, and there's probably five or six there's a little tiny divot here i need to patch there's one up here in this corner and there's a couple of little tiny spots i don't know if you can see them in the camera but any of these white spots in the gray here are little tiny pits i could take and fill in with some uh, body filler putty on those and sand them back down and it would fill in the pits but to be honest they're so faint that when i wax this six times they are probably going to fill in with wax 
and uh, even if they don't they'll just be little tiny raised places on the the epoxy and the carbon fiber and uh, you know once you wet sand it to get it ready to paint they're going to disappear anyway so um, may or may not do anything to these I probably won't I believe the uh, the wax will take care of those but anyway, that's going to be about it for this week's video. So uh, see you guys again in a few weeks where uh, if nothing goes wrong. We'll be making this part out of carbon fiber and hopefully we'll have a rear hatch for the car finished. I'll see you guys again in a few weeks.